What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I have for you guys on the Messenger District bag in the NM size. So I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this bag as well as trying it on. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and give videos to more people. And while you're at it, make sure you claim your four free socks on Weeble at click the link below. All you get to do is sign up, you get two socks for free and you get another two after your first deposit. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. All right guys, so first things first, and that is going to be the retail cost. This bag is currently not available at the store anymore. If you guys look on the site and you guys look at the district messenger bags, you guys will see a GM, which is going to be the bigger size, but this is gonna be a little bit smaller than that, which is the NM. And this one actually retailed at $1,210, obviously plus tax and shipping. And the market is gonna be around $1,000. And how did I come up with that number? That is the average sales price on StockX, and it's honestly about what I see them going for today. And so if you guys wanna go ahead and copy the GM size which is the one that's available like I said it's going to be a bit bigger and it's also going to be a bit more expensive I believe the retail cost on that one is going to be a bit closer to two thousand dollars ish and the market on that one's going to be a bit closer to thirteen hundred to fourteen hundred dollars if you guys are selling second hand slightly used but I'll just give this bag a little spin for you guys I'll hold it by the strap so you guys can see obviously right here we have the Damier graphite canvas all around including the sides the back and obviously the strap is gonna be completely black and also adjustable. Obviously here's the part they're gonna to use to adjust it. All the hardware is gonna be silver toned, including these little magnetic pieces right here that are gonna say Louis Vuitton pairs on them. You can see they're a tiny bit scratched up and that is honestly the only usage that you guys will notice with this bag. On this side, we'll have a little heat stamp right here also saying Louis Vuitton Paris. And so those are just a few things that you guys are gonna to wanna to look at as the fonts of all the logos on Louis Vuitton items should be very high quality. So I've even seen some Louis Vuitton bags that are clear fakes that will have an L that is not even a capital L, it'll just be a line. So make sure you guys are looking at the details and also looking at the placement of these on the canvas. The a Louis Vuitton Paris that's going to be on the squares should be three up from the hardware. So one, two, three, we're good there. And then we're gonna look at the heat stamp and the date code as well when you guys are looking to authenticate it. But obviously a super good looking bag, but let's open it up for you guys. And you guys will see that we're gonna have quite a few slots. Not too many, but enough to hold what you guys need. Um, if you guys are just gonna be going to the mall for a day, uh, obviously not enough room for like a trip or anything, but these parts are gonna be completely magnetic to the very bottom right here. And taking a quick look at this pocket right here, we have a decent amount of room, um, and just enough to hold some accessories. I'll show you guys the inside right here. It feels like this a suede material. I can't say for sure if it's suede, and it's hard to pull up a lot of details on this bag, um, especially because it's not on the site anymore, so that's usually where they share a lot of the details. But on here, we'll have the Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain heat stamp. Obviously, the stitching looks good. Textile lining at the top, cowhide leather trim, which you guys can see right here. You guys can see the leather right here, which is gonna be super high quality. No scratches whatsoever because this bag has been taken very well care of. Um, and obviously, like I mentioned, you're gonna, you're gonna see a couple scratches on here. But other than that, this bag is in really good shape and that is probably the first spot that you guys are gonna notice where, other than the very bottom of the bag, which is obviously flawless. But taking a look at the main interior, you guys will be able to see that you guys got quite a bit more room in here. We're gonna have one flat pocket right here to hold other little accessories. So usually I'll put my wallet, uh, keys and other little things in here. And then if I'm carrying a computer or a tablet or iPad or whatever else, there's a perfect amount of space for that in here. Um, I usually don't carry them too much, but a lot of you guys do. I'll try to get in the light really quickly. And we're not gonna have a pocket on this side. And a lot of Louis Vuitton bags and backpacks will have a pocket on each side, especially for the ones that are gonna be about the size. But this one does not, but obviously we have them right here. So one, two, and then obviously the main pocket right here. So you guys definitely do got a good amount of room to hold a lot of stuff. All right guys, so obviously here's how it's gonna look from the front. And honestly, this is probably the most popular way of wearing this bag. Um, obviously you guys can clearly see the Damier Graphite canvas as well as the hardware that's gonna be on the strap right here, which is completely adjustable. Um, I did already mention that, but it really doesn't matter how tall you are, how short you are, um, how much you might weigh. This, this bag is completely adjustable to the point where it doesn't matter how you guys wanna wear it, you guys are gonna be able to do so. But obviously here's how it looks in the front. I'll give it a little spin modeling like this. You can still see it from the side and the back a little bit. Obviously not too much on this side. But yeah, it's a good looking bag. It's very subtle. And in my very last video, I reviewed the Macassar backpack. And a lot of people don't always go with that canvas because it's kind of like 
asking to get robbed. That's what I hear a lot of people say because it's obviously the most recognizable canvas out there. You'd be able to the brown and the monogram all over. But being Damien Graphite, not as many people are gonna recognize it. It's gonna go for it with more uh, outfits and it's also gonna be a bit more of a subtle flex. So obviously those who know Louis Vuitton will easily recognize the Damien Graphite canvas, but not everyone will. And then obviously it's super, super easy to access the stuff that you're carrying inside. Um, it's magnetic, so you just literally pop it open with very little pressure. You guys can access this pocket right here, which is probably the easiest pocket to access. Grab your stuff out of here, grab whatever you guys need in the middle. And then again, we have that other little flat pocket right here, which hopefully you guys can see. The heat stamp, and then we're gonna have the date code which is actually gonna be on the inside of, not this one, but the flat pocket in the backside. So if you guys are looking to authenticate, I'll pull it out for you guys really quickly. Um, and you guys can see right in here, that is where we're gonna have the date code. And that is one of the things that you guys are gonna use when you guys are looking to authenticate bags. And a lot of you guys reach out to me on Instagram and ask for my help, and I'm happy to help you guys. But also another op option for you guys, if you guys are looking to authenticate stuff and just have that peace of mind when you guys are buying secondhand, Make sure to go ahead and check out Pro Authenticators. They pay me absolutely nothing. I've actually asked them if we could work out some sort of a affiliation deal or something like that, and they haven't been open. I guess my channel isn't to the size that they'd want to do that yet. Um, I know I'm bringing them a good amount of business, but they are well worth it, and even though they won't really compensate me in any way, I still want to do it just for the good of you guys. Um, so make sure to reach out to them. You guys can obviously find them on Facebook, message them through Messenger, send them key pictures such as all the hardware, the strap, overall pictures, day code, heat stamp, and obviously anything that has the Louis Vuitton font on it, including the hardware towards the bottom, and they will be able to give you guys that peace of mind. But the way that I like to wear this bag, which is a little bit less popular, is wearing it on the back. So, sorry, if you guys can see the stain right here, I spilled a little bit of protein powder on my shirt, but just have the strap right here, obviously in the back. It's gonna be a lot more subtle as people who are looking at you from the front aren't necessarily gonna be able to see it. But obviously looking at it from the back side, you guys can see it then there really clearly. And honestly, it just feels a little bit easier on my body to hold it that way. And also it feels more comfortable and it feels like I have some room with my arms, you know? Because once you have it right here, like you don't have as much room, but I don't know, maybe that's just me being picky. I'm just going over my preference. I will wear it both ways. And I do think it's a really good bag. And something that I wanted to compare it to was the new model, which is going to be the GM, which is the only district messenger bag out there that's still gonna be on Louis Vuitton's website currently. And so if you guys are deciding between the two, this one's gonna be a lot less expensive, but it is gonna be a bit smaller. So unless you guys are gonna be carrying multiple laptops, huge folders and everything else, you guys might wanna consider going with the bag like this, even though it won't fit most computers. Um, it, it will fit some, especially the smaller ones, and it will fit iPads and tablets. Um, but if you guys aren't really holding computers or anything else, you guys might want to go with this one as it's easier to wear, it's lighter, and obviously it is a lot less expensive. So there are some pros and cons to both of them. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of this bag in general. And obviously, if you guys have any questions, make sure to reach out. And some of you guys have... And a lot of you guys have been asking a lot of questions and have been messaging me on Instagram. But what I would suggest you guys do is hopefully leave it down in the comments so that anyone else that has the same question, I can answer for them so they don't even have to go through the time of messaging me. But personal preference, I'm happy to help you guys either way. Um, if you guys have any video requests, let me know. I'm happy to bring them to you guys. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the bag. I'll give you guys one more look at it right here. Obviously the front side, the sides, and the back. And just before I close out this video, there are a couple product care things that I wanted to mention. Um, first off being that if you guys are setting this back down, make sure to lift it straight up because it is so common to see people get these scratches and fades towards part of the canvases, which you can tell they've been um, sliding it off of for long periods of time um, or multiple times in general. Um, and also make sure to keep it from getting damp. And also lastly, when you guys buy this from the store, you guys are gonna be getting a box, a dust bag, and obviously everything else that goes with Louis Vuitton products for the experience, but that box and dust bag aren't meant to just be thrown away. Make sure you guys are keeping it in at least a dust bag so that if you guys have it set on top of um, a dresser or wherever else you guys like to store it, and the sun kind of shines in through the window, so you guys won't have any issues with coloration 
Um, obviously that will happen over time if you guys are leaving it out for long periods of time uh, consistently. So make sure not to do that. Make sure just to form good habits because when you guys are spending one to two thousand dollars on a bag in general, you guys are going to make sure to take care of it so it can take care of you. But again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to leave questions down in the comments and also let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.